Hey guys, Ken Ross here. I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking into their essential expenses. And boy, do I have some news for you today. Apple, once again, has surprised the industry with its leading in technology upgrades, right? The new upgrades to not only their processors uh, for their desktop lines, but they're also leading the way when it comes to 5G. They have officially made the iPhone SE, which is their last phone, 5G enabled. And what does that really mean for a lot of telecommunications providers? That means now customers have no reason not to move to 5G now. So if you're really paying attention to what's been going on here with 5G, and it's very much in its infancy, I want you to understand that 5G is not mature. 5G has not really come out right and been the kind of force that you would expect when you roll out a new telecommunications network but now apple is now invested fully in 5g right not only do they have the lead in all of their phones and all the lineups everyone finds these phones compelling but now they have the lead as far as leading the revolution of people moving to this new technology and i and i can certainly appreciate that right i can appreciate that technology moves in a direction and people want to go to it. They, they're gravitated towards. They're very much attracted to what Apple has and its products and what, it, what it's offering. But I don't want you to miss out on what that really means for you as a consumer. That means you have choices. That means you should really consider what it costs to move to 5G. And I'm here to tell you right now, moving to 5G is, is something that certainly could find a way into your into your ecosystem if you really want it but it's not something that you need to invest in heavily right now and so i want to give that advice to you as a business owner as somebody who wants to see people succeed go ahead and understand what is happening and understand where you can put your your investment dollars in your business but don't think that 5g is the answer to your connectivity issues or that 5g will increase your bandwidth or your speeds right now to give you better performance out in the field it's just not going to be there yet so if you're willing to take that risk with with apple go ahead and lead the way go ahead and try it out see what it is right but also understand that it is not quite mature yet that's what I have today. I'd love to hear what your comments are about some of the announcements on, uh, that Apple has talked about today. I'm really excited, honestly, about the desktop line. Um, I wish I had a different type of channel where I could talk about all the latest developments, but I am very much excited to see where it goes as far as Apple's way of leading when it comes to desktop hardware, right? They, they've, they've done something with Apple Silicon that no one else has been able to do in uh in the, in the market right now and it's something i'm very much paying attention to myself as a content creator um when i come to how do i invest wisely in the technology that i use for this channel so with that being said i, I don't really have much else to say I, i'd love to have some comments in the comment in the comment section below of this video would love to hear your thoughts i'm going to actually post a link to apple's full video where, where they release all the updates where they talked about the updates to the not only to the iPhones, but to the iPads. And the iPads also now feature 5G. And to their new Mac lineup, and, and including the new Mac Studio, which is something that I find very compelling, right? It's something I can't ignore uh, as, a, as a content creator and as a person who, who genuinely loves technology. I, I fell in love with Apple when I was in college. And saw what they were doing at that point and said to myself, I can no longer ignore what they're doing. And I think Apple is now once again doing that for people and they have to, they have to pay attention. And if they're not paying attention, you're going to be left behind. And so that's, that's what I have today. Like I said, would love to hear what you, what your thoughts are. I'm going to put, put the link in the description, like I said, and until next time, please visit my website. I am Ken Ross.com and I'll see you around.